In Consumer 10, the failure of several banks earlier this year was a simple reminder of how to keep your money safe. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation protects your funds if a bank or credit union fails. But your funds are not protected in cash sharing apps or with cryptocurrency exchanges, which is why this morning Consumer 10 is highlighting this urgent message to think twice before sending any funds. You can buy Bitcoin here. The sign or the kiosk might be inside a gas station or a convenience store. According to the Better Business Bureau, in the past few years, these Bitcoin machines have been a new tool for scammers to use. Well, I don't know how to use that machine. The scammer's very helpful. They say, we'll stay right on the phone with you. We'll walk you through the process. Since January of 2022, 18 Central Ohio consumers have reported losses of almost $356,000 to cryptocurrency scams. So what is a cryptocurrency ATM or BTM and how do they work? Similar to ATMs, you could walk up and deposit money. An ATM keeps the money in your account. A BTM converts deposited dollars into crypto, which is held in a digital wallet. The main difference, an ATM, you can withdraw funds. A BTM, you could actually send money to other accounts similar to a currency exchange. It's just an ever-evolving nature of business as um, technology gets more and more advanced. So we did not in Ohio start requiring licensure of, B of these crypto kiosks until about a year ago. And so we've communicated with the industry and told them that they need to come to us and seek licensure. White says the companies involved are not household names. She recommends going to the Ohio Department of Commerce's website to verify if the crypto kiosk is registered in the state. Scam artists are always are always finding new ways to um, to scam the public, and so you have to be very sure that who you're dealing with on the other end of the transaction is somebody that you know and that you trust. The kiosk owners, they may not be the ones scamming you. It, it may very well, in fact, most of the time, it is a third party. Now, according to the Department of Commerce, four companies are licensed to operate cryptocurrency kiosk ATMs in the state. Nine others are operating in Ohio while their applications are still pending.